If you haven't noticed, there hasn't been much news for Gotham Knights. There are no videos to really make about the game. Of course, some content creators somehow find a way to make content through speculation, leaks, etc. And, you know, that's fine. They can do what they want, but personally, I find it all to be a big stretch. I'm desperate for video topics and growing my channel, but I just can't bring myself to make videos like that. Whenever I make a video, I need some sort of, like, real purpose. Like, why watch this video? I found that Gotham Knights videos have lacked that the most on this channel the more time goes on because we haven't really been getting much. As someone desperately trying to grow on YouTube, I am a little disappointed in the lack of news on this game. And I would be disappointed just as a fan of this stuff, someone desperate trying to figure out what the heck this is going to be. We've been waiting for an open world Batman related type of Gotham City game for like five years now. It's a little odd that the game is coming out this year, but we don't really have a release date yet, and we still know so little about the game. The only footage we have is from an alpha version. They have a Discord, they ran like a fan cosplay event for each hero. Unfortunately, I just don't really find that too interesting. I'm glad uh, people got to participate in that. I'm sure that was fun for some people, but I just wasn't that interested in it, and I desperately want to know more about the actual game. If you couldn't tell from my other Gotham Knights, videos, I genuinely respect the developers of this game, and I like hearing what they have to say on Twitter and other places. I find this a little confusing for the devs to decide to do. I don't think it's them. It may be someone else. I could be wrong. I honestly don't know why exactly we're not getting many updates on the game. For some reason, WB or whoever just doesn't want to show the game, and I don't know if that's good, bad, or if it means really nothing at all. But here's what we've learned in the past few months that I haven't really covered. So the first noteworthy thing is this picture uh, posted by the official WB Montreal account on Twitter. And as you can see, it says July 16th through July 21st for like a Flying Grayson's poster. Some people believe that these dates kind of have some relevance, which might be true, which I will get to in the future. There's also this concept art, and it's more of like paintings that some of the devs got, and um, it doesn't, it, it's cool, it doesn't really show us much of anything though. There's also this, I guess, leaked merch that shows off new suits from the game because, you know, you can customize your suits. So, this is some, like, customization we haven't seen yet. There might be parkour in the game, which you can kind of see a hint of in the footage, like when Batgirl jumps off a van to kick someone. But it's not really surprising that parkour would be in the game, especially knowing that some of these characters don't have capes to glide with. On January 8th, a new article by Games Radar came out about the game, and I kind of compiled a few of the biggest takeaways from it. Quote, they encouraged us to double down on our unique take, end quote. Quote, that unique take depicts a Gotham 15 years into Bruce Wayne's tenure as its protector, end quote. Now, this is interesting because I don't think I've actually heard uh, how long it's been uh, since Batman started being Batman, and this also solidifies that this is like a unique story it's not just a retelling of a comic. They are really telling a unique story here, which is exactly what I would want. I don't really need them to kind of tell a story I already know because I know all the twists. I know everything that's going to happen. Quote, even when we had the outline of our central mystery, we forced ourselves to focus on characterization first and how that should shape not only narrative and performances, but the action set of each of the four heroes, says Redding. We looked at the overall tone of our Gotham City and used that to decide which supporting cast and villains we should build the game around. That became the foundation. It shaped the game systems and then we built the game story and found our cast of characters to work on top of that. This kind of just shows you that the game is very focused on narrative. You know, it's not just a gameplay game where, you know, the story is kind of just thrown in there. Uh, these devs really do care about the game. The writers really do care about the game, and I'm glad that they're really focusing on the characters and trying to make impactful stories with these characters instead of them just sort of being these, I don't know, empty shells that you just play through the game with. And I'm also glad that they're, they're sort of shaping the gameplay around the story and around the characters, and it's sort of an extension of the narrative. It's not just there for no reason. 
quote, since the other members of the Batman family are always present in some way in the background, while you're out in the world fighting crime or unraveling the mystery, they don't stay inactive. So it makes sense that they are also progressing and getting stronger, end quote. This shows you that all the heroes are going to share story progression. So like if you're halfway through the game, you haven't played Robin yet and you want to use Robin, you don't have to basically grind his character, level him up to the point where it's possible to continue halfway through the story because Robin will have progressed in the background, you know, because he's not just going to sit there, you know, he's a human, he's going to go around and doing stuff, so that makes sense. Also, something noteworthy about this article is that apparently the combat is made entirely from scratch, meaning this isn't like taken from the Arkham combat, and I think that's good. I'm glad that this game is entirely unique, it's its own thing. There was a PlayStation Magazine Q&A with Patrick Redding, but it didn't really say anything new, but here you go. The game is still set to be released this year, while, you know, Hogwarts, the uh, Harry Potter game, is being delayed to 2022. Some people have said, oh, that's like opening up a spot for Gotham Knights, which was already releasing there, but I guess it's more likely now that Gotham Knights is releasing this year. And as of right now, it is confirmed that uh, Gotham Knights is going to release this year. Many people have found uh, placeholder release dates for the game. This one says the 31st of July and some are trying to argue that this may line up with the holiday image we were given by the WB Montreal Twitter account. Flying Grayson's poster says 16th through 21st of July. Now, the placeholder date said the 31st, but they're in the same month, so people are trying to argue that maybe July is sort of the most likely month for this game to come out. As for me, I don't really know. The voice actor for Red Hood, Stephen O. Young, which I'm hoping I pronounced right, was interviewed about the game. Quote, instead of trying to copy what came before, O. Young is excited to introduce some new wrinkles into Red Hood's character. Continuing on, quote, they want to win awards with this, O. Young said. That's what you can expect, end quote. On February 22nd, a Gotham Knights mural was painted in the WB Montreal studio. Looks really, really cool, uh, but... Not really uh, much news there. And the last thing I want to say is this, you know, this happened a long time ago, but I stripped a new image from WB Montreal's website of a different angle of Gotham City shown all the way back in the teaser campaign. I'm still convinced that this part of the map is not a part of the map we were shown in the trailer. In gameplay footage, I have a whole video on map speculation for this game if you haven't seen it already. Overall, I would have liked to have seen more updates for Gotham Knights, especially after going through three years of dead-end leaks and teases before the game was announced. But I don't think anyone should get mad at the developers, it's probably not even their doing. I do, however, think that we will be destined to get more and more updates in the future, and I will be there to talk about them. Another thing I want to mention is that people shouldn't get too hyped about this game, and that's something I didn't make clear in my previous Gotham Knights video. Uh, I am sold on the game meaning I'll definitely buy it, but for all I know, it'll just be uh, an average game, a fun game, and I am fine with that. If it is a masterpiece, then that would be absolutely amazing, that would be great, but I wouldn't go in expecting that. I am really excited to eventually play this, and there will be definitely a ton of content to make out of it, but right now, I don't really feel comfortable making videos about well, nothing, really. So when actual news and updates start coming out, not leaks or, you know, placeholder dates or these kind of small things, when real big stuff, really exciting stuff starts coming out about the game, I'll start making videos about it again.